fellow YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host, Steve. Up next is another sculpture that I just finished painting, and this is Queen Lagatha from the TV show Vikings. And I have completed Queen Lagatha and uh, had a blast painting her. Probably one of the biggest challenges for me was painting her cloak. The cloak doesn't exactly uh, copy the photos that we have of her with this pose. So I used a little bit of artistic license here to paint her up. I used primarily uh, soft pastels and then I sealed the pastels in. I also used some uh, some inks for the browns but that's what her cloak looks like. The other challenge was her hair, the blonde hair. Uh, blonde hair is really hard to paint and it was very difficult for me to get that in there. Um, I did paint her shirt with a linen color and of course a bronze for her necklace there. Her eyes were hand painted and I think she turned out really good. Now here's her base and this was also painted with oils for the wood tones. It had a base coat of Steinle Res yellow and then oils were painted over the top with Monument Hobbies Pro Acryl providing the metallic finish, the golds and the bronze color. So that's what she will sit on and that's what that looks like. Lastly, the owl. So the owl I painted with a off-white and then I used inks to color the owl up along with a little bit of yellow Steinle Res on top there. But that's the owl. This is 3D printed from NY3D Creations and readily available from Mike over there. It's a quarter scale bust and was a blast to paint up. Uh, I did start her off with a coat of SEM high build primer and that help, helps to fill in any of the printing lines and any of the you know the, the stuff that's left behind from the printing process. I did fill in her drain holes with some liquid resin and a UV light. Then she was coated with a black Steinle Res and I proceeded to start painting her flesh tones and if you want to see how the flesh tones are done I did put up a video on how I do my flesh tones with this one I used a lot of uh, pastels 
on her uh, on her cape here and uh, I thought it turned out really well it's not exactly accurate to the photographs that I have referencing her and uh, I'll show you those photos here but I really enjoyed painting her as far as acrylics go the acrylics I've been using here lately are the Monument Hobbies Pro Acryl paints and I highly recommend those they are easily thinned and airbrushed if necessary and just go on very well the owl I uh, just gave him a ivory base coat I sanded down his feathers on the front a little bit to make them a little more flush and then I used uh, inks airbrushed some inks on him burnt umber and um, there's the other ink I'll list it down below in the description but uh, I thought I thought it turned out very well and the base of course I gave it a primer coat also of the SEM then I went in there with the yellow Steinol Res and then I used oils to give the wood grain effect and the metallics are the Monument Hobbies Pro Acro give you a close up I hand painted her eyes and gave them a gloss coat of UV glue and I'm still working on eyes I'm still trying to perfect them but you know it's it's I, I find it very challenging and a lot of fun to paint the eyes instead of just using decals but there you have it and you can see there So let me know in the comments below what you think. You think I'm doing a pretty good job with uh, my painting of figures and busts? Uh, is there anything I can do to improve? Please let me know. I'm, I'm willing to take your criticism and comments. But I'm still learning with these. These are a lot of fun to paint up. I've been painting this up as part of a series with uh, Way of the Dragon with Gilbert Mondragon and he's been a great inspiration and instructor when it comes to painting also Jerry over at Just Paint It now Jerry at uh, Just, Just Paint It he has a great YouTube channel I've learned a lot from him with painting figures also he's coming up to 500 subs head over there he has a giveaway with that but let's put him over a thousand subs folks if I have over 16,000 subs now come on all of you head over to just paint it and sub Jerry over there let's put him over a thousand and there's the, the top Uh, there you go. I would also recommend another YouTube channel, and that is Model Club TV. Head over there and subscribe to them. They uh, offer every twice a month insight depths of the garage kit industry, resin printing, and just overall fun. It's a good adult fun over there and uh, I really enjoy their channel so I put a link down below head over there and subscribe to them let's put them over a thousand also so they can start to monetize and, and improve their podcasts with newer equipment and such so every subscription will help and same for me if you like this video and you like this content give me a thumbs up it really helps with the algorithms on YouTube and there you have it that was Queen Lagatha from Vikings 
one quarter scale from Mike over at NY3D Creations. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.